Hello and welcome. This video will show how to make a fully tileable control panel. You can extend this as much as you like horizontally. And each of these levers are individually controlling the pistons you can see behind me. So each of the modules are four wide and you don't have to build an entire module. So you can have a module that's one, two, three or four wide. It's just after you get to four, you have to change the pattern. Each of these modules is controlling one redstone wire and each redstone wire is controlling four pistons. So for the orange one, if we want to say, turn on the first and the last one, first, last, or for the yellow, we might want to do every second one. Uh, blue, we'll do all of them. And we might do the two outer ones for the dark, or two inner ones for the dark blue. And as you can see, roll them each individually, however you like. So we'll just turn everything off again. Now at this point I should probably mention that because this is pulse based, you have to give a slight pause between flicking levers of the same bank. So I could flick um, these two closely together if I wanted to, but not of the same bank. So how does it work? Well, if we come around the side of it, the levers control the lamps, the observers watch the lamps, then within a bank, each observer is fed into a repeater of a different pulse length, different setting, we separate off so that the lines from the top set of observers don't interfere with the line from the bottom one. This feeds into a couple of other circuits. So our first circuit we'll talk about is our one tick pulse detector. I've got this on one tick. You can see that this will toggle and it's one tick, but if it's any longer than that, it won't fire. It only fires it's exactly one tick. It works by taking, delaying the signal to this repeater long enough for this comparator to feed into it. This does have to be a comparator due to redstone priority. And if we get one tick, then that, rep that comparator won't detect it, allowing this repeater to take the tick by the piston. If it's more than one tick, this comparator will pick it up before that repeater fires, preventing the piston from firing. And then the last thing is a tick length reducer. So this system reduces the length of any tick coming, through, any pulse coming through it by one tick. So we have a compost here with one item, bone meal level item in it. Press three, look at our debug, we can see that on the right. The comparator and subtract mode facing into a repeater. So while before over here, a two tick length would not fire the piston. Over here, a two tick length will fire the piston. And a one tick length won't get through the redstone over there at all. And that's all the redstone components used to build this thing. Some other things worth going through is um, we can space them together like this on a line. So these are every well, four this way and three that way, which means that you can have your farms that these control relatively close together. Um, certainly closer together than doing a separate line for each lever would allow you. You can use a bit of redstone block on the end of the piston to control things either horizontally or downwards. So that's horizontal and downwards. And if you need to control up, I suggest using a compost with an item in it facing into a comparator. And the last bit to need to show is the two modules. As I said, the basis of the module is blocks, lamps, observers, and then repeaters offset from each other. So you can either go the back ones at the top and the forward ones at the bottom, separate them like this. 
or you can go the back ones at the bottom and the forward ones at the top and separate them like that. The main thing is when they do come together, you need to make sure that you're not having any of the redstone dust line join up between repeater banks. That's about it. That's everything you need to know to take a multi, like a fully tileable control panel um, that reduces the amount of redstone lines you need out of it by four, making it easier to run around your base. And I hope this is useful to someone. Thank you.